My name is František Štěpánek. Uh, I have a background in chemical engineering. I have obtained my undergraduate degree here in Prague at the Institute of Chemical Technology. And then I obtained a PhD also in chemical engineering in collaboration with the University of Pierre Marie Curie in Paris. Uh, then I did a postdoc uh, at the Unilever R&D laboratory in the UK. And then I started as a lecturer at the chemical engineering department at Imperial College London. After six years, uh, after obtaining the ERC grant, I have moved back to Prague where I have set up the chemical robotics laboratory. The ERC project has made a big difference to the way in which I conduct my research because it allows me to consolidate uh, my funding into a single source and that means that I can put a critical mass of people over a longer period of time on a single research stream and therefore we can make uh, more significant advancements than what would be possible if I had to do this work piecewise from different sources over shorter term uh, periods uh, and uh, not guaranteed funding uh, for such a longer period of time. Uh, the main aims of the Cobotics research project uh, are to design, fabricate and uh, test uh, the so-called chemical robots, which we envisage uh, as uh, artificial equivalents of uh, simple single-cell organisms. Uh, there is particles in the size range of few tens of micrometers, which have internal compartments that can store and uh, release uh, chemical reagents. Uh, we want these particles to be externally controllable, but at the same time autonomous, uh, which means that uh, similar to macroscopic robots, we want to be able to send signals to them to control them, but unlike uh, macroscopic robots, they are not based on mechatronic principles, but they are based purely on uh, chemical principles. The ERC as a new scheme, which is based purely on excellence, uh, gives confidence uh, to both individual researchers and the general public that uh, the research funding is allocated uh, based on the quality of the researchers and uh, their projects as a sole criterion, uh, rather than, for example, on geography. And uh, it is now widely recognized that uh, the ERC uh, is indeed uh, considered to be an objective benchmark of quality of the research environment, both at single institutions, but also uh, as countries. Please. If you look at the history of great discoveries that are shaping our lives today, such as the discovery of penicillin or the internet, they were usually the byproduct of some other activity which was driven by the researcher's own curiosity. And so I believe that creating a research environment in which uh, researchers will be allowed to engage in curiosity-driven research makes the right conditions for the continuation of such uh, big, uh, although sometimes accidental discoveries that hopefully will eventually lead to technological advancements that will improve our lives.